Namaskar. Today, on the 8th of January, we are here remembering a very distinctive personality. In the history of Indian classical music, there had been many well-known musicians, performers, but perhaps not as many examples of such people who, in spite of having prolific capabilities to build up their own musical careers, chose to take a completely different path, aiming at finding talents in other people and building them up as capable musicians. Pandit Kashinath Mukherjee was one such example. He came from a very learned family and was a man of many talents. He was a very well educated and learned person and an excellent sportsman, an ace footballer at some point of time. And perhaps one of the most capable disciples of Sitar Nawaz, Ustad Vilayat Khan Sahib. Kashi Jatha happened to be a very close friend, philosopher and guide for my father. And <clears throat> I had visited his house many times with my father when I was a young boy and later in my life I was very fortunate that he cared to attend a few of my concerts. And what really touched me deep down in my heart was in spite of having heard the best of the best in Indian classical music. He never ever lost the interest towards listening to youngsters and finding out the goods in their playing. Also, if I may mention it here, I heard from my father that life had not been very just with him. I mean, in other words, he had faced injustice in life. But whenever I had visited him, never ever did I see him vent any ill feelings towards anyone. Today, in today's world of classical music, we direly need more and more people like him such that the best possibilities in the youngsters can actually become a reality and we get many many more good musicians like Ram Propanna Bhattacharya and Abhik Mukherjee and through these two disciples of Kashi Jatha I believe his music will stay alive and ringing in the years of the music lovers for a long, long time to come. My deepest respect and pronounce to him. Namaskar.